also corn is high in prebiotic fiber which is very good for our gut health one more thing i want to mention about corn is it has a phytonutrient uh, called lutein lutein promotes healthy vision today i'm going to show you how to make a creamy delicious sweet corn soup and um, it has vegetables it has corn it is delicious i'm going to show you all the ingredients i need for my sweet corn soup but of course number one ingredient is the corn itself obviously you can have it peeled you can get peeled outside or you can get the whole one and peel it if time permits it's not better or worse it's just convenience right so i happen to have a full one and uh, i will peel it i have steamed my corn for about uh, 8 to 10 minutes you can also boil it if you boil it um, you need about 5 minutes so I have the water here which I'm going to keep now this I will use for the soup um, some of the corn I have kept um, without cooking it it's raw and I have other vegetables like I have uh, red pepper I have green pepper I have yellow pepper I have beans and some carrots so I want to make this a nutritious vegetable soup too so I have corn and all these vegetables now the eggs are absolutely optional if you're vegetarian I understand you cannot put eggs you just stop at you know uh, where I put the eggs you don't need to put the eggs I just put it because I eat eggs and my family eats eggs now there is a misconception that corn is very high in sugar um, it's it's actually you know a, a serving of corn has half the uh, quantity of sugar that an apple has so it's it's a complete misconception often um, you know we eat sweet corn soup in a Chinese restaurant and it's really tasty now if I just ha add a health twist to this by adding another four colors of vegetable believe me the the taste is the same it's just added a little more color now what I'll do is I'll, I'll boil these vegetables all together for about five minutes remember I don't want it to be all boiled up I want it to be a little bit crunchy so I boil it for five minutes now this includes the corn that I hadn't boiled or steamed with this because I want some of the corn to be crunchy I want some of these vegetables to be crunchy so I'm going to actually grind some of the corn that um, I have uh, steamed and the reason I do this is because I want this soup to be nice and thick and creamy look at this nice and creamy so I will add this mixture to my vegetables that are boiling so I add the mixture to this the ground corn thickens the soup for sure I also use some you know a teaspoon of cornstarch so you could use that if you want to thicken and um, that's really easy like you just blend it in some water and while the corn is boiling you put it in slowly put it in the soup is thickening because I want we wanted to get thick and creamy and the colors I love the colors look at this brilliant colors yellow red green orange I've added my um, ground corn my cornstarch and now I'm going to put a little bit of salt so salt to taste you can put as much as you want and I will put ground black pepper so a little bit of black pepper ground black pepper right and also I learned in another recipe which I will try today you can also put a pinch of sugar right I know I, I, I say don't eat too much sugar but just a pinch now this is something I learned in my many years of living in Thailand they put sugar in everything so I put a pinch of sugar in this to just enhance the taste and to make it really yummy and creamy and sweet corn soup so this is a little bit of sugar so I'll wait for this to boil the soup is ready if you're a vegetarian you can skip this step of adding the egg the soup is absolutely ready it's delicious it's creamy it's ready for anyone to eat it 
Now the reason I add egg is two reasons. Number one, I make my best effort to up my protein, my family's protein intake. So egg is one of the best forms of protein. And number two is when you mix this egg, it gives a really nice marbleized pattern. So when the egg comes in contact with the boiling soup, it cooks and the, the quicker you stir, the finer the threads. So I'm going to stir this really quickly. And the soup is ready. It looks delicious. You can even see the white color of the egg, the green, I mean, it's a colorful, delicious, creamy soup. Now to just make it a little more tasty, I put a blob of butter and you can just stir in the butter and the, the soup is ready. I put off my gas right now. My soup is ready to eat. It looks delicious. It's a really filling soup as well. So a lot of times if you don't want to eat a big meal at night, this is a great way to um, you know have a soup and still have it enough to fill you up it has vegetables it has corn it is delicious if this video is helpful hit the share button and share it with a friend